previewing the 2015 JMU softball season. We're talking with the infielders. Uh, talk about the preparation heading into this 2015 season, how you're getting ready. Well, um, in practice every day, we really work hard on our footwork and um, glove work and really trusting each other. Um, it's helped a lot that um, our shortstop last year, Caitlin Sandy, is there to help us. And uh, it's really good that she's there because it really brings in a lot of insight and help to the infield. We've also been working on a lot of communication between like the middles and the catchers and the center fielders because before then we were really quiet in the infield and we really need to work on the whole communication, like talking in between every pitch and knowing what play is going to be happening next. You mentioned Caitlin Sandy. How nice is it to have a former teammate uh, now turned coach uh, helping you guys, especially because she was just on the team recently? Um, it's amazing. I absolutely love it. Sandy is someone I, I really look up to, and she pushes us and motivates us every day and really brings a lot to us. Even though I've never played with her, I really look up to her because she's always there, like, showing me examples, correcting me when I'm wrong, always there to work with me and everything like that. You have a new playing surface this year. How have you guys adjusted to the new dirt, and, and what are some things you really like about it? Um, well, it's it's really, really fast, so um, we've been working on really our footwork to prepare ourselves for a really fast ball. Um, most of us are playing back a little more, but it's plays true to the hops, and yeah. Um, it's very hard, and um, it's really fast. Like, the ball moves so much faster than on regular clay. How nice is it to know that with this new uh, playing surface that, you know, we'll have probably less weather delays and, and, and it gives you a chance to, to play a lot more on this playing surface? Um, it's pretty exciting. Like, even uh, this spring, like, with practice, we've been able to actually get outside a lot more. So we've been able to work on things that we can't work out work on inside. So, like, first and thirds and really getting to um, game-like situations that we would not be able to do inside. Um, with the field that we have now, we can go outside more, like even after the snow, like we can go out a couple days later and be able to scrimmage and actually be on the field instead of inside the gym working on stuff. We actually get the game-like situation out there. Talk about how uh, the freshmen have uh, transitioned to the collegiate level, and then obviously talk about uh, how some of the upperclassmen have helped get you ready. Well, there are... Um quite a few freshmen this year and it's the normal you know freshmen everybody has that rough start but we really trust them and we are really trying to get them to trust themselves and um, really work with us and have confidence in themselves that they can do what we can do because really there's no difference in me and her and age wise like playing wise we're all the same level we don't talk about freshmen or seniors we're all the same. I can speak for all the freshmen, like we're really pumped and excited to be out here our first college season, and we're all working really hard towards it. Uh, a lot of expectations of this JMU softball team. How do you guys stay grounded knowing that uh, you guys are picked to win league, uh, probably picked to go back to the NCAA? How do you, how do you kind of stay humble about uh, all the recognition? Um, we block it out. We don't really talk about it ever. Um, those people, all the people who talk, parents, all that, they don't know. So we're just trying to stay focused and really block all that out because we're trying to go further than what everybody else is even saying.